I know what you've been thinking. Why doesn't Himmelberger do something stupid with his bus? I am. I'm gonna try and put this boat on the back, not the top. Obviously there's no more room on the top. On the back of the bus. So I've uh, decided, yet again, I wanna try and make a boat work with the bus. But not just any boat. No, no, no. Actually, first, let's do a little history. I started with an inflatable boat. And that works really well, except it's a pain in the butt to set up. We're gonna set this up and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Yeah, we made a boat and it all fits in that box. This is our current inflatable boat kit. It's a uh, Intex 5 uh, in there. I got the paddle, got a little trolling motor and all the mounts to make it work. And then I've got a wood floor in the bus so it's kind of stable. And I even got the air pump in there to blow it up. It's not bad. Uh, it just was a pain in the butt. So, I had an idea. <clears throat> Let's walk through here. <clears throat> what if we do a paddle boat? It's already got seating, right? It's even got a motor transportation, but we don't have to use that. This particular paddle boat and Escape Jazz. It's pretty heavy duty, but it also has a motor mount area. Uh, it allegedly seats five. I'm gonna try and put this boat on the back, not the top, obviously there's no more room on the top, on the back of the bus. I've got a winch I'm hoping to install. You can see I'm starting to extend the uh, solar rack out a little bit. I'm gonna have to support it near the back of the bus, of course. I'm going to try and do that without drilling new holes for now. That may not last. And it's going to winch it up. And then I've got some, uh, hopefully some things I can attach to the back to cinch it down. And uh, some ratchet straps and stuff. And away we go. If seeing how I succeed or fail is at all interesting to you, stick around. Keep watching. All right, up here on top, you can see this is pretty, there's some oscillation there. And it's, uh, it's, it's not gonna take, I think that thing weighs like three, 400 pounds. Maybe not that much, maybe it's like 300. It's pretty heavy. This, uh, as you can see, it starts to flex pretty good. I'm putting some weight into it here. So I'm thinking I may put a 90 degree bracket here Come right down here. Here's pretty solid. On uh, on this particular bus, this is an 82 MCI, so it should have the back cap that goes curves up at an angle right here. But they put on a more modern cap, so this is actually hollow space right here. Completely wasted. I want my money back. Not gonna happen. So we're gonna put a support down there. Maybe I'll put a piece of foam on here just to rest it for this test. If it works out, maybe I'll drill it in there. Die cord up, all that sort of stuff. Hey, solar panels are still holding up well. We gotta clean up that wiring there. That's bad. I'm doing this professionally now. I gotta, I gotta do better. It's about life. You, nobody's perfect, but we can always do better. Okay, that's my dad talk for the day. So we're gonna put another piece of Unistrut here. Have I mentioned I love Unistrut? It is so versatile and uh, it can extend things later. So I'm gonna do that real quick. For some reason I'm using a 14 millimeter socket on a 3 8 inch bolt. Don't ask, it's working. I thought I grabbed from the uh, standard side. Guess not. Look at that, through the magic of television. We got uh, another bar here, another bar here. So then, I gotta cut. I gotta cut a piece to go across. Maybe we'll go here, something like that. And uh, yeah, in the middle, we'll put uh, a winch and we'll give this a test. Well, first I probably gotta put some supports down here too.
All right. Welcome back. Up on the roof now. Got the winch here connected. This is a 2,000 pound uh, Badland something or other from Harbor Freight. Uh, this bus should pretty much be sponsored by Harbor Freight here at some point. And then, uh, anyway, got some uh, connector dinguses here. Gonna connect those on. And I think the way this will work is this uh, channel should slide right on there and then I can tighten it up from the top. Hopefully. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So far so good. Alright. So that wasn't so bad. Now, uh, suppose I want to tighten these up. They're not tightened up at all, but then the winch will come straight down and hopefully lift up the boat. I did not even use the uh, unistret stretcher once. Check this out. We're in good shape there. Pretty good shape there. Now, as you can tell, whoa, this thing's pretty wobbly. We definitely need to do something here. So yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting my measure stick. So some of you might also be wondering, well, what are you gonna do about power? Here's the, the leads for it. Uh, one of these is, that's the plus one, that's a minus one. Uh, my thought is to, well, I've got a couple of thoughts. This is just testing. I wanna try doing this one safely, but without doing anything permanent so far. And I'm gonna have to probably do something a little permanent. Uh, but initially I'll probably just run the cables like down a side and down here, and then put the controls down there. I am gonna have to extend them, but luckily I've got a ton of 10 gauge wire. And the other thing I'm thinking about doing is running this actually on 24 volts. Thinking about it, because I've got 24 volts avail to, available to me in the bus. The uh, I think I can just tap into the alternator connection, or there's a hot uh, plug over there. I could just tap right off of, not a big deal. I think it's fine so if the, as long as the motor is brushed, and I'm pretty sure this is brushed. All right, uh, it's been a little bit. I made a thing. This is the uh, support that I made. It's, uh, of course, Unistrut, about 11 inches total. I uh, got a little L bracket here on the bottom with a uh, piece of foam, uh, like pipe insulation wrapped around there and kind of sandwiched in there. It's not gonna go anywhere. And then got this L bracket here to hold it. And with any luck, yeah, it's a little, it's uh, well, maybe it's taller than I really wanted, but I wanted it to uh, make sure it was kind of pinched in there. So if this has to lift up a little bit, so be it. All right, got uh, that one in there, that one in here. And as we like to say in the business, it's not going anywhere. And uh, you can see, and it's just, I'm not really even getting any metal on fiberglass contact, but uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this. Not bad, uh, this is all scrap Unistrut that I had laying around. Okay, I think uh, we're about ready to give it a test here. Move the bus a little bit. Got the uh, winch up there installed. Tested it a little bit with the uh, mean green battery here that I got, like a ton of. And uh, played around with uh, just seeing. So this is the idea. We can put a little trolling motor on here. It's got that mount. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> is it going to fit? I don't know. Oh boy.
obviously that's gonna need some improvement uh, that little uh, ratchet strap thing that I'm using as my toe thing that's gonna need to be changed because there's not enough room there uh, the other thing I don't really like is the torque that it's putting on the winch up there I really need to and it uh, with that with the way it's mounted it gets bound up on the end real quick so I really it needs to be clocked this way a little bit uh, which means I'm gonna have to mount that in a different way well it's a day later and it's done or as done as it's gonna be for now I think now I heard a lot of people or I heard a, a lot of what you were saying and muttering under your breath about it. well that's not safe you didn't even strap it down yet what about this what about that that uh, that winch is on wrong, and you were all right. So I fixed it, mind reading. So here's what we got. We got the dog. She's really bummed out because there's really not a place for her. I do have the covers for the back here, and I have one seat. I didn't have a second seat, but I got a good deal on it. Uh, so we've got uh, drilled hole there let's get rid of that we don't want to see that that's on there pretty good there we go one more just for you guys uh, it's up there pretty tight got the old noodle there and uh, let's see if we can get a look at the winch uh, let's go from this side because actually we're gonna load up and go here it's Friday on Memorial weekend so you can see I changed up the winch mount a little bit. I may actually eventually mount that on top of all that business up there so I can get the boat up a little bit higher. But for right now, I mean, it clears the back bumper or I may even build some kind of support or I think I even have one of those hitch racks just to support the bottom end a little bit. But I don't know, for right now, it's doing what it's doing. I'll give you an idea of here I'm a I'm a big boy I'm pushing on that pretty good and it's not really moving I'm pretty satisfied with it and uh, hopefully we'll cruise around uh, maybe a little lake with this uh, this weekend and if uh, we don't do that maybe the video will end here if you want to see how this actually works with a trolling motor uh, keep watching probably well, fast forward a couple of hours, and we made it to our favorite, or one of our favorite Wisconsin campgrounds, two lakes in the Namagan, not, not Namakagan uh, National Forest, or well, State Forest, well, it's a forest. And we dropped off the boat, put it in the water, and we're at our campsite. We were not able to drop it directly in the water from our campsite like we were hoping to, but we rolled with it, and it worked. So now, we got life jackets getting on, and we're gonna drive it back to our campsite. I'm gonna do cartwheels. All right, Lucy's gonna do cartwheels. I'm Millie, what are you gonna do back? Just all right, she's, all right, looks like you're ready to go. <laughs> so, we'll catch up with you from the water. <laughs> The campground host was at our campsite when we got back to get us registered, so we never wrapped up this segment. Know that we got the paddle boat secured and to our campsite just fine. Now here is Lucy's promised cartwheels. We better include that in the video. Don't do that for nothing. Now for some more fun on the water. Too far. Whoa, so close. Billy, you want it faster or slower? Just give us the thumbs up for as fast as we can. Okay. All right, we don't have Billy in the slower speed, but we can try. I don't care. No, 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 no. Oh, oh we're going to whip her now. Whoa.
coconut. How do you feel about all this? you enjoyed watching this project and coming along on a short adventure if you like this content give us a thumbs up or subscribe or both we'd love to hear from you in the comments and thanks again for watching see you next time